Stocks finishing the day in the green, reversing yesterday's sharp declines as investors look to diversify their portfolios in this volatile market, some turning to the art world. Masterworks is a platform where investors can buy and sell shares in iconic works of art from names like Banksy and Monet. The company announced its Series A today and now has a valuation of a billion dollars. The round was led by Left Lane Capital and Left Lane CEO and managing partner Harley Miller joins us now. Harley, thanks so much for joining us. I want to get to Left Lane more broadly, but let's hit Masterworks uh, first of all. So really interesting idea. And I guess it's a sort of modern take on old art as opposed to the sort of NFT craze, which is totally new. You're absolutely right. I mean, listen, uh, we had a thesis, a standing thesis in tech-enabled alternative asset classes. And uh, a lot of our peers in the venture and growth equity world were pursuing things that whether felt a little bit more faddish or, frankly, just smaller. And that can range from Pokemon cards or sports trading memorabilia or wine and, you know, farmland. And, and I think all those could be viable. But all of our research kept coming back to Contemporary fine art is just a really large asset class that historically was inaccessible to anyone but the ultra high net worth sort of constituency or institutional investors. And Masterworks is really the first company to securitize what has been a sort of an inaccessible asset class. And uh, so it was a really special opportunity. And you know, Scott and the team, the CEO of Masterworks and his team there are extraordinary operators. And we felt that the, the founder, you know, product market fit was was second to none. So. Um, we were privileged to work with them. And that's what, frankly, consumed our, our entire summer was uh, kind of prospecting and working on our diligence there. Well, everyone else seemed to be on vacation or enjoying it. We were, we were hard at work uh, preempting that opportunity. <laughs> Well, Harley, as you say, everybody wants a piece of everything and, and this whole fractionalization of securities and sneakers and art and just everything. You know, memorabilia has exploded as, as the quest to democratize everything has, has moved forward. How do you know that's not sort of a, a bubble or a sign of, of a little bit of the excess that's been going on in the system as a result of people being home and, and all of that government stimulus and, and everything like that? I, I think it's a fair point. I mean, listen, a, a lot of the, you know, the, the broader populace had a lot of time last year and they couldn't consume sports as much. So they were at home, frankly, gambling on public equities. Right. And so you saw a lot of the meme stock behavior uh, or other things that are not proven stores of value and frankly haven't persisted and produced outsized returns over the course of many decades, like the way contemporary fine art has. So as far as NFTs, it's not really uh, I think Massworks is almost uh, the the antithesis to that. Right. Uh, it's not something that's necessary there. It doesn't provide an advantage. And, and, and so, you know, and frankly, I don't know if sort of that, that digital art NFT phenomenon is, is faddish or if it's going to persist and it'll be here in five to 10 years if it'll appreciate in value. I think what we kept coming back to was just decade long consistent returns. And, you know, MathWorks being an extremely data driven sort of prospecting and sourcing felt like they could sort of beat that historical average of what was otherwise a, an asset class that has been uncorrelated uh, good diversification play and frankly has beaten the S&P consistently over the last 25 years. And so I, it's I a little more other... proven versus flash in the pan, so to speak. Mm. The, the only other point on, on Masterworks is, is that you are really making fine art purely an asset class for investment or, or protection of, of money because <clears> what you don't get, uh, of course, which you either would with an NFT or if you're a billionaire and you own the painting in full, is the utility from art of being able to look at it and enjoy it. I think that's a fair comment. Uh, it probably still has that dinner table cachet where you can flash your portfolio to a friend or family member. And I think that that still has a, maybe accomplishes some of the, the same phenomenon there. But it's you know, you're not hanging on your wall. This is an investable asset class. And so people are, are not doing it for the consumption or utility of, of enjoying per se. Uh, although I think you know maybe it's something in the company's plans for uh, certain investors to be able to go and visit the pieces. It's not something I can comment on specifically, but I think it's a very fo fair point. It's not something that you're getting to hang on your wall. Uh, and so, um, you know, maybe that's a, a small drawback to it. But I think, frankly, just given the demand for, for things that are uncorrelated with, with, you know, public stocks, this is uh, as good as it gets and, you know, an impressive one, to say the least. 